uh, Ni Hao. Uh, my name is uh, Ni Er in Chinese. Uh, and that was specially chosen for me by one of my colleagues uh, in China because they felt it was important for people to see me as a cultural ambassador in the way that Neo, I believe, is quite a famous composer um, from uh, previous times. And I've visited China for about uh, probably every year for the last 10 years. And it's given me a real opportunity to meet people in the country, understand the fantastic venues and new buildings that are being built, but also to see how we can support the development of performance arts. Shakespeare's Globe was the launch for, in 2015, of the UK-China Year of Cultural Exchange. And from that, we took the opportunity to bring a number of productions to China. Rather than just playing Beijing and Shanghai, uh, the Globe got the opportunity to play emerging first-tier and second-tier cities like uh, Wuhan and Tangjing uh, and Guangzhou. It's always wonderful to see how Chinese audiences respond to the plays of Shakespeare. Uh, for me, Merchant of Venice uh, was a prime example. Uh, we recognize that the trial scene is often taught in Chinese schools, but students hadn't had the opportunity of seeing the play in its full entirety. Uh, and they had quite a different view of the character of Shylock when they saw the whole play and actually wanted to afford him some empathy and some support for his situation. In 2012, uh, and as part of the Cultural Olympiad, uh, we were funded to provide an opportunity for major Shakespeare companies to come and perform on the Globe stage. We had an Armenian ki uh, King John, we had a Mexican Spanish and then a Catalan Spanish. And so that production sitting alongside 35 other productions really was a calling card for uh, China and each individual country showing how Shakespeare has influenced their own performing arts. Alongside the Chinese National Theatre, bringing a production of Richard III, directed by Wang Xiaoying. Happy birthday to you. Each year we celebrate Shakespeare's birthday, both with celebrations up in Stratford upon Avon, which we recognise as Shakespeare's birthplace, and here in London on Bankside, on the south side of the river, at Shakespeare's Globe, we call it Shakespeare's workplace. As Hamlet says, with the players, holding up a mirror to nature, it's a real opportunity to use the lens of Shakespeare to understand and appreciate the world today. He writes about all types of people and everyone can find a way into his plays and understand both why he was writing about history today, but also how his plays speak contemporaneously to us today. People, I've heard it said before, people say, I didn't realize Shakespeare was like rap. Uh, meeting Tang Zhu and Shakespeare together and uh, in the anniversary of their death, we had a number of opportunities of learning more about Tang Zhu uh, and performances of the p &E Pavilion that happened here in the UK. And I've seen performances over in China of Tang Shang Tzu. Uh, I think it's wonderful in Fuzhou, uh, which I believe is Tang Shang Tzu's home, that they have created a reconstruction of Stratford-upon-Avon, with Shakespeare's own uh, home being uh, rebuilt. Uh, and I think that sort of recognizes the cultural exchange of how these two wonderful writers, who both um, wrote, they both wrote in quite different ways, but they took on huge themes uh, and huge stories and found ways of telling them to the audiences of those times. Of course now uh, as we start to welcome Chinese visitors back to London and the UK uh, we hope that the partnerships that we started with uh, and were about to, to start delivering activities um, will be able to begin and commence again. That I welcomed a delegation from China from a couple of the major tourism associations. Um, and we are starting to talk to the venue owners and producers in China to see whether we can start touring again. Um, but it will still be some time before any uh, theatre companies around the world will be touring in the same way, say, that we did Hamlet. I'm really excited by my successor, Stella Kanu, who's been appointed. As I come to the end of uh, my 14 years at the Globe, I'm starting to 
uh, contact my friends all around the world, especially uh, some in China, but I'll be making it very clear for my successor, uh, Stella Carnu, to recognize the importance of the relationships we've developed over the last 10 years. I've always had this dream in China of having a Chinese opera, Shakespeare Globe hybrid. And I think there's a real opportunity of building uh, these type of uh, archetype theatres that then have the opportunity of bringing work and exchanging work in a similar theatre uh, around the world. And I think that's something that the Globe will uh, focus on uh, after I leave. Um, but also one can see the growth of digital. In partnership, we're able to get our film screen with Tanjing TV uh, and the Merchant of Venice that we performed in China uh, has been streamed by them and also on the iQiyi uh, platform.